Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about sending geometry from 3ds Max to Maya and from Maya to 3ds Max. Now, there's a whole bunch of different reasons why you might want to do this. Maybe a client has given you a file in one of these formats, but you want to work with it in one of the other ones. Or maybe just the same, you have a coworker that was working on a file in one of these programs, but you want to work on it in another program. Or maybe you just don't like one of these programs. So to get this started, you need to have the same version for both of these programs. In my case, I have 3ds Max 2022 and Maya 2022. Next, I want to point out that on my amazing model that I have, I also have an unwrap. And in here, you can also see that I have an amazing unwrap here. So with your model selected in 3ds Max, we're going to go to File, and we're gonna choose send, send to Maya, send as a new scene. You can choose any one of these, but we're gonna use send as new scene. Now, once you do that with Maya open, if you already had another scene open, you're gonna to go to prompt to save what you had or don't save. I'm not gonna save this. And right away, you'll see that our model comes in. And if we click on it, it looks just the same. Now, here's the thing, in previous versions before 2022, there was a chance that when you sent this model over, it would be triangulated from 3ds Max to Maya. There's a good chance that you're not gonna run into that anymore, but if you do, there's two things that you need to do. First off, you need to go to your export settings for FBX. So we're gonna go to File, and we're gonna choose Export, Export, and then here we'll just add some random name. We can delete this later, and we'll click Save, and now we have our export settings. So if we scroll all the way down to FBX file format, you're gonna see type, and you wanna set this to be ASCII, and you're gonna hit okay. And then the next thing you would need to do is on your modifier list, you would wanna add turn to poly. And you wanna turn on limit polygon size with a max size of four. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And then from here, you can do file, send to, send to Maya, send as new scene or update current scene. We'll just do send as new again, don't save. And in my case, this is gonna look exactly the same. Now over in Maya, just to show that everything exported over correctly, I'm gonna open up the unwrap and we can see that our unwrap looks just the same. So it all transferred over just fine. Now to export this over from Maya to Max, you can either do an update, since these are already connected, down here in the lower right, you'll see this says connected to 3ds Max, you can click on update, but if you wanna do this from scratch, all you need to do is select your model, and then we wanna to go to file, and we wanna come down to import export, send to 3ds Max, and then you'll see you have very similar options here. So you can choose send as new scene, update current scene, I'm gonna do send as new scene. And now over in 3ds Max, it does the same thing. It prompts us, do we wanna save it? I'm not gonna save it in this case. And then you'll see we get a new scene and we'll just maximize this so we can see it. And we'll take a look at what we have. We still have our editable poly and we have all of our geometry here. And just to check, we'll make sure our unwrap is still there and it's still there. So this video is kind of just about geometry. There are some other edge cases that you want to look out for, such as in Maya, you can do groupings. So you can duplicate a box and then you can group these and you can name this something like Sam, because why not? And then we can select that and we can send this over to 3ds Max. And in this case, in the 2022 versions, these should go in the group appropriately. So these two boxes are below Sam. But if you're using previous versions, sometimes your geometry will not be childed appropriately. Sometimes they'll be decoupled and their axes will be broken. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.